Welcome to Kubernetes cluster by Pavan Devarkunda. In this session, you will be learning about Kubernetes setup in Vagrant VirtualBox using Ubuntu Xenial 16.04. This is provided by VirtualBox Kubernetes setup in your laptop. So what are the prerequisites? You first download the software, Vagrant and VirtualBox. These are the very very smallest size and you can also should have the good internet speed to work on Vagrant VirtualBox because it downloads the Ubuntu box. The hardware requirements for each node which you are going to run 2 GB RAM and 2 cores of CPU and 10 GB disk space, Kubernetes, head and worker nodes creation. First, we are going to have the laptop. Your laptop is going to run with a vagrant file using the simple command vagrant up. This vagrant file is going to help to create the virtual network and sync folder and also system resources. Once you got the virtual box, you will be getting Ubuntu Linux. The Ubuntu Linux we can use for three different nodes. One is for master, two slave machines, 192.168.33.10, that is a master running, and two workers, 192.168.33.11, 192.168.33.12, another node, worker node. In this way, we can create a cluster of three machines one is master and two worker nodes let's jump on to the practical orientation in this blog you can find the complete details how to proceed to create your kubernetes cluster on your laptop first download the vagrant using the link and also download the virtual box from this link so according to your laptop you need to download i'm having the windows i have downloaded the windows 64 bit operating system virtual box i downloaded the windows host virtual box so presently i'm having windows 7 operating system that is a host machine and i'm going to so this is a basic requirement once this is completed yeah i have done the installation process then I have to create a script vagrant file. This is a Ruby script. I just copied this one, placed into my notepad plus plus, and save this file as a vagrant file. I have saved in this my local machine. Let me go to the you can go to command prompt. Here I created the vagrant file. So this vagrant file is going to have the setup servers three servers one is master and two slaves these are all used for the kubernetes cluster so this configuration is the same set of commands which you regularly require to create the kubernetes cluster the first basic requirement to run the kubernetes cluster you must have a docker installed linux box so here docker 17.03 we are going to install in the ubuntu machine the next we are going for the installation of uh, kubelet kubeadm kubectl and then we are going to create the uh, token which is required and also we are going to make the ssh passwordless configuration to connect to the slave nodes from the master node so once that is created then we are going to copy the tokens from the master node to the slave nodes. Once this process is completed, the configuration of master is completed, then we are going to call the script which is required to run on the node, the slave node. From the slave node, we are going to call the kubeadm join. So this is going to join the master. Master is running on the 10 IP address which we are going to see here. And the configuration is required to copy into the etc folder so these are all done automatically when you are going to have the ssh passwordless configuration let's go to the command prompt and check vagrant up to bring up the virtual boxes three virtual boxes 
because we will find the virtual box provider available then it is going to launch the master node so it is going to bring download that uh, ubuntu which is configured the box virtual box and then it is going to configure the network each virtual box is going to use two network nat and host only two networks will be created two adapters will be created virtual adapters in each virtual box virtual box node is going to have a separate ip address private network will be created and vagrant user is the default user and that is going to be member as a docker because docker commands if you want to execute from the vagrant you must have the docker group membership for the vagrant user the sync folder is automatically created vagrant path which is pointing to the way the directory is having the vagrant file now the slave one is starting now slave is also started and it is going to take few minutes now it is completed here and you can see the command prompt back and let me check this what is happened so far with the vagrant command vagrant status all the vagrant virtual boxes are a running state that gives the positive sign where you can check with the connecting with the party connection let me open my party connecting the master node now once you got the master node you can verify all the softwares are installed successfully or not let me check for the docker docker fnv gives you the docker version that is 17.03 which is uh, ce that version we have installed and now let me go to the next command cube cube adm version this gives a version mean a minor minimum uh, version 1.12 that is actually version 1.12 yep this gives the version again uh, kubernetes git version the build version source code version that is 12.1 version you can see here version 12 this kubectl get nodes command gives you all the three nodes information with the ready state 